Southeast Pound 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 founder of Cells Direct. About to go work out this morning, man. Kind of just showing you the process of how we get this thing going every day. It's 4.30 in the morning, man. To get the day early going, man, it's get out of the way. I mean, obviously me and my brother had kids, man, and we've been playing for a long time. So, uh, you know, to get out there, get it early in the morning, there's not a lot of people in the gym, and, uh, and a lot of people ain't watching all the things that we're doing to get ready for the football season. I'm saying, uh, my boys get over here, man. We either get some little breakfast in us, or we get some coffee. We definitely get that sales direct in us, man, early in the morning. We're gonna do sales and race this morning, man. Uh, the guys wanna get in the gym, man. We ain't got a lot of time to cook it up. Well, this is my twin brother, Mike, right here, and this is one of my best friends, Andrew, man. What's up, dude? What's up? How you doing, man? Man, we're gonna do some, some, some jump ropes, some uh, shoulder press, some curls. Now, we got our stretch guy and everything here, man, out from California, man. Uh, Sergio, one of the best in the business. He came out here to uh, help us out throughout the week, get the bodies right, get us prepared. Man. MVP massage, man. That's right. I knew this the whole time. He's trying to use his wingspan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't one of my man. Let me hit one of yours, man. Your name. Yeah. One of mine is fine. How you get the seven? I ain't gonna lie, my legs are a little burnt right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get up at this time, man. Ever since high school and college, uh, college workout started every morning at uh, 6 a.m., especially for offensive linemen. So, I mean, it's been instilled in us our whole entire lives, man, to wake up early, work hard. Uh, it's just something that's a part of us, man. We, you know, it's it made a lot of pride in us for our kids to see us every morning getting up, going to working out. Even though we're playing football, they, they see us leave the house and they see us having a light, man, so uh, it's, it's kind of cool to have. To warm up here, we stretch. We used to do a lot of the stretching, and we got the, uh, the Thera guys and things like that, the hypervolt, so we used to do a lot of that. And our stretch guys here, here just the hips, stretches if you got anything going on before we go to the gym, and then we come back and get about two more hours of work in with him. Man, um, I've been playing football a long time, man, to get going for the games. It was always some a pre-workout or energy drink to try to get your mind right to go out there and play a long game. And uh, we put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this. Obviously, it's NSF approved. And uh, the taste on it's amazing, man. Good for your stomach, settles in the right way. But uh, man, I hope everybody you know feels the same way we feel about it, man. Uh, it does a lot of great things for you. Yeah, Thousand. Let's get it. This right here, the alignment is huge. All the hip mobility. We're always in a squat position every day. You gotta always work them hips, man. I'm the first thing to go for alignment. Get out here, we do some of the straight leg stuff all the way down to warm them up. Keep the toe straight. Back, same way. You heard that shout out from my boy Big Dan right there? Yeah. Oh man, this is key, man. This flexibility, you know, things like that. This keeps you away from injuries, man. Uh, I know a lot of guys that sucks to do it afterwards and it takes time. And it does, it's painful to start stretching, man. To get used to your body getting moving like that. But man, this is the most key thing in the NFL or any sports, man. The stretch, man. I mean, you guys, any top athlete, man, this is, this is what they do all day to take care of their body. Been doing this for 12 years now. Keith and Mike, I remember Mike when he came out of California. <laughs> I've been with them both ever since. Keith has me flying out of Pittsburgh mid-season, so it gets crazy to get my guys right. I wish I could take them from all the Chargers players, man. They get mad at me. <laughs> I mean, I love that you get to help out players, keep them in their line of work. What I hate is... When they, when they cancel their appointments. <laughs> <laughs> that last minute, that last minute appointment, you go through. 11 at night. Just landed last night and look at me, four in the morning. Yeah, last night, already working. That's respect, that's why you're the best in the business, man. That's why all the guys use them, man. Let's do the accountable. You gotta show up no matter where you ask them to go. We'll be in Alaska, they'll come out there.
those six o'clock drews in the gym. So, man, when, you, when you're a part of a gym, it feels like a family because everybody in the gym so used to seeing you every single day. And whenever somebody doesn't show up, it feels like you, know, you got to check on them, see what's going on in their life. Uh, the first thing we do is get up in the morning. Um, you know, we'll take some of our products, sell our rugs, and um, we'll start our stretching routines. We'll get all warmed up before we get to the gym. So we kind of kill that process before we get there. And then by the time we get to the gym, uh, we hit it full speed, hit it running. Uh, it's something that we've done our whole careers. We're just early birds. So we go to sleep probably 8, 30, 9 o'clock every night. And uh, every morning we're up at 5 a.m. no matter what. The only, only bad thing about it is on weekends when you're trying to sleep in. Huh? I forgot my phone. You did? Yeah. Really never going to make it there. I would say, man, our college workouts were some of the, the most toughest ones we've ever had. Coach Mick. Coach Mick, Mickey Marotti, he's the head strength coach of uh, Ohio State right now. But... His workout plan that he put us through throughout college made us play as we are today and pushed us to you know, places we never thought we could go where we are right now in life. Look back at our lives and you know, see where we started at and where we come from. It's hard to even believe that we're here right now. Just very grateful, very humbled by the whole process. Excited to see where you know, our future holds. Spent 30 racks on a rap, bitch, coulda went and bought a brick, whoa Quarter million worth of chain, as ice boss, everybody lit, whoa It ain't no cop inducing nigga, that's your man, everybody get it, whoa Kinda cute, really something to do. I got something to do, so I gave her the Pluto. Uh, hundred thousand for a body, go inside the house and everybody get it. Uh, got a plug on his eye that overnight I'm flooding everybody city. Extra three fifty might buy me a Richie. This shit get ridiculous if Sir get sick. Spot in Toronto, just show me the rooms. Give me a few months, I'll be serving the six. Whoa, Rose truck, four bucks, all white guts, call it good luck. Whoa, neck lit, wrist lit, look, don't touch, rich, get bust. How about a fan on they think it's Houdini? Sound fifty one day, I bought two Lamborghinis. Hundred rent spin on them, four carry diamond. I didn't propose, but I brought her a ring.